Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I'm doing a show called Plywood Transmission in London. It's a solo show below the restaurant of uh, Mark Hicks. I've got a very multifaceted um, practice, you could say. But um, I do kind of focus on making uh, very large scale woodcut prints. And in order to make those prints, I, I uh, use wood, wood blocks. And I thought for this project, it might be fun to, to actually show the wood blocks themselves because they're kind of quite highly aesthetic objects in themselves. They're unusual objects. They're a bit like relics or something like that. And they're, they're kind of intense, intensely carved. They are strange objects in themselves. And they're, you know, it's hard to place them. They look incredibly ancient, but also weirdly contemporary. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see them, but it, it's, a, it's a first that I would have shown those things. Yeah, I think growing up in London really has affected my worldview and that filters into my the work that I make in various forms. When I'm writing stories, I, I really try to focus on um, London. I'm quite quite obsessively um, interested in, in depicting London in, in fictional stories. Maybe there's a certain sense of uh, maximalism or too muchness, overcrowdedness, and also um, kind of culture clashes. In one image, uh, you might see a Mesopotamian, in the next, um, uh, something which looks more German expressionist, and then something that's kind of classically uh, European in style. And I think that's a kind of very London thing. And, and actually, in a way, sometimes my work almost reminds me of walking down the street in London, and you just see all these different people from these different worlds, and I often imagine what would it be like to, to get all those people, or, or, or not all those people, even just four of those people in a room? They're from such different histories and worlds and, and universes. And um, what would the conversation be like? I've been travelling around a lot of museums and collections and redrawing images from artworks that I see specifically that relate to kind of Af African diaspora. So I see works by European artists that have kind of referenced uh, African diaspora, like Picasso would be is, a, is an easy example to use, or Picabia, where they you know they draw the the masks of African stuff and they turn it into cubism or something like that. So what I'm doing is I'm re appropriating the appropriated images and then um, yeah turning that into something new again. So I'm really like kind of sucking the, the visual information out of something that's already been um, uh, yeah, appropriated. So yeah, I'm, I'm just working on those. I'm not quite sure the home where they will be going uh, when they're made, but I'm just in the process of making those. So I'm quite excited about that.